if you are having people on a drop-in basis, it often for the purposes of, of designing a budget for your grant, is that I think it's easier to kind of include more people than you uh, originally had planned on because generally speaking the cost involved of say an extra five people is not, that's not the big cost in, in say putting on an event. Because of the way that the evaluation process has been set up more, it's hard to kind of determine well who by in the terms of the grant is really a uh, someone who's really a member of the grant as opposed to someone who's just dropped in. The good thing though about having a committed cadre of teachers is are things like esprit de corps and really having people, especially if you're working with uh, uh, multiple schools, multiple districts, that sort of having people get to know each other, get to work with each other on projects uh, uh, from different schools. Uh, it's wonderful to see say uh, suburban and urban uh, school teachers uh, working closely together and building those kind of connections. We'll do uh, like a big summer uh, uh, away trip, to, say to Washington DC or we did one to um, uh, Birmingham and Civil Rights uh, Institute there. And in hindsight I wish that we had done that at the very beginning, as soon as possible, because once they'd spent uh, three days together, that group was so tight and they and tight, they were comfortable talking about things, they were enthusiastic. It makes it possible to uh, uh, develop uh, teaching modules or, or lesson plans or whatever it is, the kind of end, end product that you want these teachers to kind of develop as a result of this to be much more comprehensive. You, you've got the same group of people so you can uh, you can get them started early on in the year. You can set uh, special events that are, are, say, just about, say, using technology and developing um, classroom resources or in keys to developing a successful lesson or you know, any number of things. Mm -hmm. I guess in, there's always the opportunity, of course, if you can figure out how to finesse it, do, to do a little of both. In other words, if you have, say, a committed core of 25 or 30 uh, teachers, but uh, you know you really could take more people. Uh, well, then why not? But every month we'll have an, uh, what we call a history forum. We'll invite uh, an historian. We'll have like a dinner. We'll have uh, you know, maybe some kind of workshop or something connected with that. And that will, the, of course, the teachers that are involved in the course come to. It's part of their class. But we'll open the doors and invite uh, invite the entire. Um, the people from all the districts that are being served. And so that is, there is a way to kind of do it both.